AJ Rysick here, and today we are going to take another look at Nix Note 2. Uh, new beta was released beginning of May, so we're going to take a look at that, and oh my god, you would not believe the improvements to Nick Note. So uh, let's kick back and uh, take a look at this, Jim. Okay, so here we are in Nick's note. Now, before I go any further, let me just kind of back up a little bit. For those of you that have never used Nick's note, it is a Linux client, uh, non-official Linux client for Evernote. Now, uh, you know, Evernote, they have a client for on the Windows desktop, and they got one for... Um, Mac, they got iOS, they've got Android, I think they got Blackberry, um, but no, um, nothing for, for Linux. And, um, you know, why, I don't know. I'm not going to go there, not trying to figure it out or whatnot. But uh, anyway, so so Nixnote is a non official client for on, on the uh, Linux desktop. Now, uh, Previously, I had looked at, I, and I had thought I had looked at the the first um, the first beta, maybe uh, maybe the last alpha release, but um, I kind of screwed up and downloaded version I think 1.6, 1 1.8, something like that, um, instead of uh, version 2.0, and it functionally it was it was fine, um, but definitely did not look as nice as what we're looking at here. I mean, this is a nice looking display. Um, you know, definitely, definitely uh, major thumbs up on uh, on uh, tweaking the looks here. You know, we've we've got it integrated with uh, with my theme. So, it, I mean, everything looks nice. Um, let me do a walkthrough here of some of the features, um, you know, especially for the people that have never uh, that have never looked at uh, at uh, Nick's note in the past. Um, okay, so we got kind of the standard file, you know, edit view, you know, all the those the typical um, menu at the top here. Um, under view. We've got. I've, I'm using what they call narrow note list. Um, to me, that kind of makes the most sense with a wide screen. Um, you, know, you can see I've got list of different notebooks there, tags, searches, that sort of thing. In the center is, um, you know, for for whatever uh, one of these notebooks that I've chosen, the different uh, pages that are saved in that uh, in that particular notebook and then whatever page I select here that's what you look at here this is the viewing plane kinda like on a um, um, you know a lot of email clients uh, you'll have a view like this I think this kind of view makes the most sense with the modern widescreen monitors I mean obviously if you've got an older you know maybe four four three ratio um, or maybe you're looking at things on a small laptop uh, you might go with one of these other viewing options because you've got a uh, you know this wide uh, wide note list and then you can also you can see you can ditch the uh, the left plane should get rid of the note list uh, you know all kinds of different uh, viewing option so you know tweak it to whatever works out for for your screen but like I said for for modern widescreen as long as you got a decent screen size I think that this is like the best layout to go with under note new note um, duplicate note uh, um, all that kind of stuff. now new web note that's something that really neat and um, unfortunately I uh, I found that I really can't do that while I'm doing the screen casting um, just because um, I can't have two applications running off of um, my uh, my webcam at the same time I tried it and and everything crashed and went funky so I'm not gonna be able to show it to you but uh, you know that's pretty cool that you can make a webcam note and then and then add it uh, uh, 
uh, through the client. Um, duplicate a note, delete, spell check, uh, pin and unpin notes, all that kind of stuff. Um, of course, synchronize. Um, so you can sync your notes with uh, your, you know, your client and whatnot. Uh, and then their really nice user's guide. I was just looking through this a little while ago. Um, it's PDF. Um, real, real nice um, uh, overview and, and instructions of how to. Um, you know, a lot of times on on, on different pieces of software the um, the the how-to booklets um, uh, they read like a foreign language but uh, uh, in this case it it's pretty well written uh, definitely nice uh, nice uh, uh, PDF there anyway okay so you can see how much space you got left you can uh, do some deletes new text note print a note um, sync so that you can once again so you can sync with um, sync with your notes show all notes all that kind of stuff. so that kind of stuff's kind of self-explanatory over here all the stuff for going and editing and writing new notes um, you know a lot of my notes are actually pulled down web pages um, you know I'll I'll save a web page um, if it's something that interests me like I was looking at this uh, here let me get this out of the way uh, you can see a, a pretty cool a, a a homemade oak computer case and there was uh, there were some other ones on the same subject that I was looking at um, different wooden computer cases uh, might be a future project for me because I like woodworking now you're not limited to just pulling stuff down from uh, from the web. I mean, you can go and create regular text, um, you know, text notes, clip and add stuff to it, all that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, you can see my list of notebooks over here. You can add, uh, make new notebooks, all that kind of stuff. So I mean, let's just kind of walk through here. New text note. Okay, boom, we got a new text note. And let's say this is my new note. So you can, you know, write stuff like that. Make it bold, italic, you know, change the font, all that kind of stuff. Um, make to-do lists with check boxes. Um, so, you know, that and that actually may be a, uh, you know, very useful for, uh, for a lot of people if you're using this for, uh, you know, business application. Um, making yourself check boxes and uh, you know maybe use the Evernote to distribute it and, and whatnot. Um, but like I said, we can you can go and uh, and type stuff in. You can go and clip stuff. Like here, here's the uh, here's Nick's note on SourceForge. We can go and copy that text. paste it in and save it as a note um, you know obviously I it's not something that I really need but you know it kinda gets the point across there um, go and erase stuff spell check uh, what was that one over there I forget oh yeah in, insert HTML just you know all kinds of stuff that you can do with this program um, yeah definitely definitely um, you know uh, uh, how would you say it? Uh, uh, a full, uh, fully featured um, note-taking application. Now, like I said before, um, I pulled down a lot of stuff from the web, and let me show you um, how I do do a lot of that. Um, because there, there's stuff that um, kind of goes along with Evernote that that are Evernote tools that um, you know while it's not part of Nick's note functions along with Nick's note um, so and uh, and makes like when you're out searching for stuff on the web it makes um, the note-taking just so much easier um, 
let's just I don't know for example we'll go to um, oh, let's not go to the admin page let's go to my um, my website on uh, at Chronicles of Aria Prime which is ariaprime.com and you know, let's go to one of the blog pages here let's get the Linux and Tech okay there's my gear email review restoring life to an old laptop death of Windows XP and all that kind of stuff okay so let's let's just pull up this um, this article right here now to the tool I've got the the Evernote clipper um, added to Chrome and uh, you know Chrome and Chromium they've got this um, you can add it to um, Firefox I believe they also have these plugins for Opera and Max on that browser so big variety of browsers you can add this to so I got the Evernote clipper which will allow me to clip this article to um, into Evernote. You can also do what they call simplified article, which goes and gets you know all the other stuff out of there for you. If you want to do the full page, it'll let you do that. Uh, if you want to bookmark it, do a screenshot, then you can mark it up. But let's just say we wanted the the simplified article. And so we save that, and you see it's syncing that to my uh, to my Evernote account. I've also got this, which is called Clearly. It's another Evernote application. Click on Clearly. Let me close that. You see, you get that simplified article view. Once again, you can do markup, print. Um, you can do a text-to-speech which is pretty cool um, but from here then you can also clip the Evernote so yeah, let me close that out now okay so we did that let's sync and we should see it here on the desktop in a second see it sink in there yeah there it is down there right there it pops up all right that about covers everything I, I think I wanted to cover um, so definitely check this out if you are looking for a multi-platform um, note-taking app um, and for me, that was one of the big, uh, the big uh, features that I really liked is the multi-platform aspect. So that um, you know, since I'm synced with Evernote now, I can be on my uh, Android phone, take notes there, or you know, clip something from the web from that phone. It gets synced to both my laptop and my desktop. Or let's say I'm over at a friend or relative's house, I, and I. Uh, uh, I want to jump on their computer and pull something down off of my Evernote uh, page. I can do that with um, go, by going to the to the Evernote homepage. Um, so you know, there's all kinds of options for being able to sync and get a hold of the notes that you take. Um, so uh, you know, big thumbs up on that. Um, remember, this is a beta too. So I mean, there might be some glitches and and whatnot. Um, things that need to be tweaked. Um, I haven't had any crashes or anything like that um, so uh, you know uh, thumbs up on that <laughs> um, you know maybe somebody else has had one and it's, I just haven't you know done something to make it crash or whatnot but I've been playing around with this for a while and um, no bugs that I've seen um, so uh, pretty happy about that um, so that about finishes up the video. Uh, give us a big old thumbs up if you like the video. Um, 
as always, comments, questions, all that kind of stuff, leave them down below. I will leave links for the PPA if you're on Ubuntu system and want to install via the PPA. Uh, also, the uh, link to SourceForge if you want to download and install that way. Um, and uh, that's about everything. Subscribe if you want to keep getting this great content. And uh, thanks a lot for showing up and seeing the video. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye now.